Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Welcome back to another NBA Playoffs. This next matchup is about to be happening here at the second seed versus the seventh seed in a Western Conference first round. That's right, we have gotten another one to make another solution here. At this time, it's about to be Minnesota Timberwolves facing on against the Memphis Grizzlies here in Memphis, Tennessee. There might be some good solutions out there that we have seen it before. And that is right. Here are the lineups as we have occurred here. It's D'Angelo Russell, Patrick Beverly, Anthony Edwards, Jared Vanderbilt, Carl Anthony Towns. And the other side for you, son of beast, we have is my take over here is John Morant, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Steven Adams. There are a lot of plays that turned out to be just like them, but now it's about to be happening here again and again. Can the Grizzlies win the first game, or will it be the Minnesota with the start of the first quarter win of the first game win? Well, you may not know what will happen if there is a choice. Let's head you over to the FedEx Forum in Tennessee. Enjoy the game. A great view here in downtown Minneapolis, and also we enjoy it here to take a look at it too. But now, this is here in Memphis. As we are ready to get things hyped up and ready to go for the game, there's a lot of hard matchups here, and we're about to be seeing the best plays in the game. Yeah, I know. There might be anything happening going on, but we'll see what happens. Here's up. to be perfect, but we know it's going to take a team to do that, guys. Thanks, Ollie. A lot of us with the force. And with the game right now, we have a lot of moments to make the matchup here coming alive. And as for Phoenix Suns, they already made a win here against the other team that turned out to be just like that against the pressure of the Pelicans. But now, this might be a next matchup of 2 vs. 7 seed. What is your take? My take is going to be definitely the Grizzlies, how this turned out. Because I know there's some higher players that had a higher stat ability, but I don't know if there are any other players that are way too good to try to make their way in there. And I could definitely take the, the uh, Timberwolves if they were going to make it through, but I'm going to see if the Grizzlies could help them out. Well, you'll see what you can do, so you give it all. As the Minnesota Timberwolves starts on their way, we start now at Memphis, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's Edwards, he has already played here for quite some time. Not doing too much out there, but he's a lot of, he has a lot of momentum out there, but could be in it for the next protection. Here's Moreb. As you can see, the screen is here for Jaron Jackson Jr. He goes up, makes a drive. And this will be the first pointer here for Jaron Jackson Jr. And going up and down here, here's Carl Anthony Towns. In the paint it goes, and that will be another two-pointer here. Carl Anthony Towns on the road. He gets playing a lot of uh, great hustling in the, in the game. But I think he might need to do more as to go for the attack. Towns with the rebound after Morant with the miss. Here's Beverly. He goes right to Carl Anthony Towns, and that's broken up. Bain in the drive, coming in the bucket, and that will be a number two as Morant picks up a second assist. Now, here's Russell. Up closely is Vanderbilt. Goes over to Edwards. Up and overhead pass to Carl Anthony Towns. Now he moves over to Beverly. Just five to shoot. With a two, Russell. And it's no good. Grizzlies with the rebound and turns around the other way. Baines, right to Morant. Don't sit through. And he has a lot of momentum out there. And that will be Baines first assist of the game. 
campaign has a lot of great stats out there, a lot of, a lot of pretend you particular moment out there, but that might be a little bit more if they could try to do it better. Beverly in with a very early shot and he didn't hit the three. Now here in the other hand is Brooks in the paint. Coming in there is a great drive over by Beverly. Grizzlies lead by four. Russell takes over to Edwards. Now rolls it back to Edwards. Moves to Beverly. Now it's Vanderbilt. Three pointer Edwards. And that's knocked away. That's an error rebound by Jaron Jackson Jr. And here's Payne. Payne able to try to find that look here. Jaron Jackson Jr. with the cover. Try to work it around it. Pass back to Bain, right to Brooks. And the reach foul is called on Edwards. He failed to make the steal, but that didn't work for him. You gotta really be careful with the steal because if you if you aim it on the uh, on the ball, you have to aim it on the ball. Or otherwise, that's gonna a referee is gonna will call the whistle and you know you're gonna be fouled. Jaron Jackson Jr. with the screen. The picks. Not able to work their way around. Brooks goes back the other way to try to fix it up again. Beverly on him. On Bain. Four to shoot. Going deep for three. That's no good. Anthony Towns picks up another rebound. Now in the corner is Edwards. Reed. Finds Carl Anthony Towns and a nice D here by Stephen Adams. He's got a great hustle on the defender contact. Looks it over to Brooks. Just six to shoot. Rebounded by Towns, no good on a shot. Reed, right over to Beverly. Two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Edwards with the attack. Don't have the pressure in. Goes around, up and scoops, and he makes the drive safely. Anthony Edwards receiving a double second boat points of this game as they are counting it in by two. Most plays of Anthony Edwards, he has just been getting a little bit better at that point. But once that time, it might need to be coming back even more. The first foul is called on Stephen Adams, his first team, first personal and first team foul. D'Angelo Russell ahead of the free throw line to shoot two. They stopped the clock at a minute and 32 remaining. But there's a lot of plays that he needs to cover in there. Once the time runs is going out, you're going to need to try to go quick. He hits the first free throw. New changes here are being released here for the Timberwolves and the Grizzlies. Four players are checked out. Four players are checked in. Reed moves over to center. And the other team players on that side, all five players checked out. All five players checked in. Clark, Anderson, Concord, Melton, and Jones. And a second free throw for D'Angelo Russell's good. And you talk about D'Angelo Russell, the very higher angle of the, of the management, they really have it all. But that's a hard how he gets there. And it's off the ball on a Koji. That will be, that'll be the uh, turnover here for Grizzlies, and it'll be Minnesota ball. Taking a look at points off the two since All-Star game, they are in third place to try to work their way around. And without Grizzlies managing the run, they were always in second place, but sometimes first place with a three-pointer average. Sometimes, I, I guess that it, it could be true, but he might be bombing him out, so what do I have to know? It could be better. And D'Angelo Russell scores the drive, and they will have to count that at one. The foul is putting up on Grizzlies, and that will be the second one to give it all. And that play was just no luck. He really couldn't able to try to save that one at all the time. 
D'Angelo Russell, he really has gotten better into it. But that was no complication. And D'Angelo Russell hits the free throw. Minnesota leading by three. Now switching back into it is Jones. He finds Conkar. Anderson rolls to Clark. Clark, right to melt it. Double man on him. Five to shoot. Anderson needs to get the shot right into many. With a bank. That's no good. Uh, another miss here for the Grizzlies. Now they change it back in the other way. Finds McDaniels. Up he goes, and that's another bucket here for McDaniels. First bucket here for McDaniels is not that bad. And a Koji with that run really needs to tell them how can they do it. They really got better at it. Concar against a Koji. Anderson back to Clark. Now he rolls to Melton. Melton passed to Jones for three. That's in there. Three pointer for the Grizzlies. And they're down by two. They really got a great run out there. I think there might be another one, so we have to keep your eyes on that one. Okuji in the wing. With the buzz beater, it's short. And that ends the first quarter, 13-11 run. The Wolves are gaining position here. They're looking for a chance to win for the first game of the season, of the postseason. We'll be right back after this. for the rotations because you know depending on what team you play there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player and we talked about it here before that jaron jackson jr has receiving up here for the defensive responsibilities that he has always to help them out with the other players yeah those players can definitely help them out but because you're not sure what's going to happen you're going to need to try to like fix it on your own so you're going to need to try to figure it out by yourself to play on defense responsible. But that may be a lot harder than he had before. So, you're gonna need to try to work your way on the run. Beasley for two. It is rocked off the lane and that will be another miss by Minnesota. Now Conchair. Conchair, rolling over it again. Finds Milton. A screen is on Clark. Alley -oop. And a save me. And a first bucket for Clark goes in. Milton takes the assist. And they tied it up. They really got a great look here for Alley -oop, But they really got to show the price out of them. A Koji and a run. Scoops it in there. And that's a two pointer for a Koji. And they are breaking the tie pointer 15 to 13. Jones trying to look for a survey on offense. He goes inside, deflected by D'Angelo Russell. The best play that turned out to be just one, but not two that he had. There was only one that for D'Angelo Russell cannot be stopped on. Beasley in the court, and he goes with the dunk. Michael Beasley gets the first dunk of this game in the playoff session after he had missed their game with the last time that didn't make it before. Melton looking for a man opener. Nowhere to go, and he missed that shot. <clears throat> Russell with the ball. Now he goes right to Reed. Reed pass off to Beasley. Beasley pass off to Reed. Who shoots up, and that goes in there. Reed takes the first bucket here, as this one leads up by six. Reed, well played on that before, but there might be another one that they're going to need to try to help out offense if they're going to need to try to fix some layer adjustments from the other angle. And now the timeout's first call is on the Grizzlies. They will have to talk things over 
and try to work their way on the run. But there may not be anything going on, but it's very hard to try to pick up the run, but we will see how this one goes if they're going to try to pick their run up to keep it going. Now the new changes is being recalled already as new players try to put their way in there. After that, Morant back on the court. Brooks finds Adams. Adams going with the dunk. And a great pass here about by the other players. They really got a great, great average out around here. They got it back. What a play. Prince rolls over to Edwards. Edwards. Back to Beverly. Beverly with the shot. It will not go in there as Jackson Jr. gets the rebound. And that's a great defense responsibility. Because if you're not going to get there at that time, you got to get there before the ball you know, comes off and off the rim. Or if it makes it in, well, you're not going to have much time. That's a great D on Steven Adams. He tried to control the ball, but didn't want to deflect it away. Another miss here for the Memphis Grizzlies as turns have gone the other way. Vanderbilt haven't gotten that pointer, but he might be showing in what he got. Now he woke up the players here. Not to allow him. Oh my! Tyreen Prince get caught uh, Steven Adams with the defenseman on the fade. And he rolls it up. Wow, that's a great call because someone is going to try to play hide and seek on you. Three pointer. No problem for Brooks. And they are run their way to approach. Two minutes to play here in the first half of the game. Now Edwards will have to try from the top. And a three seconds is called on Vanderbilt. It will be Grizzly, another turnover for Minnesota. De'Anthony Melton here this season got 40% of it of this one and 50 for the effort. Last 10 games was definitely getting there close. But I think there might be more to handle for this season with the last 10, 10 of the games. And another defensive three-second violation. This goes on to Carl Anthony Towns. And now this will be a technical free throw here as the no players are not trying to work their way around a bit. Dude, they gotta start waking up already because this is not what you're gonna do. If you're gonna stay here on the paint, you gotta move out of the way. Bang has hits the free throw, and they will now retry it again from the top. Here's Morant. He will try this one again. Bang for three. Good. That's a two-pointer with the tie. They have it all out there. It's not a three-pointer range with the lead, but that's what you need. Edwards, right to Beverly. Finds Hounds inside, and that goes in there. That will be to another play as Patrick Beverly will take the first assist in for this game. Here's Morant of the drive scoop, and it doesn't go in there that time. Carl Anthony Towns right to Vanderbilt, as Prince will have the ball in the wing with a minute left to play in the first half. Now he finds Towns. Double man. Minnesota moving around a bit. He goes right to Vanderbilt, shoots up. It doesn't hit that time. Another two-point miss for Minnesota. Bain against Beverly. Screen has given up. Finds it. Not able to pick him in in time. And a rebound will be up by Edwards. Now he gives off to Edwards. Back to Vanderbilt. Right to Towns. Right in the lane. Edwards. And it goes from through. One hand is alive while the other one is trapped inside from the defender. Those defenders can definitely really have it all, but I think when you have a one hand that you get a good shot, I think you have it all. Moran looking for a play. Three for Bain. 
Good! You count that in there, and this is a close one to get. And no good on the three-pointer over there. That ends the first half. It's 25-24 with a close game. We'll have to stick around later with the second half, but let's take you to Allie. Guys, I'm joined with Coach Taylor Jenkins. What's the focus as you look forward to the second half? Thank you, Allie. We'll be right back after this one. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this break. It's time for the recap of the Wolves and Grizzlies. First half statistics are on the board. That ends it up here. Let's go back to the stadium of the game. Welcome back to the FedEx Forum as we're about to start the third quarter. It's 25-24 in a close game. And right now we might need to know who will take the lead in if there's a chance to find our way. Yeah, they're always that way to get the chance there, Vifo. But that's a but that is a cue on their on their team that they need to get there. When you have that point, you're gonna need to get there in time. Wow, what a bad shot this turned out to be the start of a third quarter, and that's not what we want. And with the mobile one block of D'Angelo Russell. They really got better at that point. D'Angelo is like even a better play on the defender. He knows he can block that off. He know he can. But that needs to get more, a lot of attention and skills to try to work their way fast. Towns right back to Beverly and here's Russell as he already had made his first block of the game. Edwards right over to Towns. Rolls over, three pointer for Beverly. And it's no good, that's a rebounded by Jackson Jr. Morant picking up the steam. Now he goes right to Bain. And a two-pointer Bain. It's no good. Ground Russell has picked up another rebound. And Vanderbilt with a drive. Oh my! Vanderbilt goes with a jam. And they are extending it up by three. Vanderbilt can do better than he had better plays on his technique. But most players can definitely, they can't get rid of him. A three-pointer is up and good. It was tied up now by 27. Now here's Russell, right to Vanderbilt. Now he will take the floppy step motion as he will try to work their way around. Now he goes right to Towns. Inside, it's good. Towns got a great piece of the muscle, and they are back up by two. Carl Anthony Towns really haven't, haven't done this yet, but I know he has never played here for this part of the season. He might need to go for it again. Brooke missing the three-pointer as this one caller carries out to the other end. Finds Towns, what a pass here! And that was another bucket for Towns. He got a better chance to take the drive. Here's Junior, Brooks for three, and he does it again. They are drilling by one. Now the timeout is called by Minnesota. It's 3.55 to remain here in the third period of the game. Six turnovers didn't really, six timeouts they called it. Only two fouls given up here for Grizzlies and one for the Timberwolves. It really doesn't stand out to bite the dust, but this really does that help a lot. Did you think there? Yeah, I, I might have, I might have bet on that one at that moment. But this might be a very tough game 
and they're going to try to keep the right game on the run. But not to worry, this is all what we need to know if we get there in time. Only two turnovers here for Minnesota and one for Grizzlies. That's not going to help them if they're going to try to bring it back. They never got a block. They got to find another one and try to get right in the game. New changes are being released here for, for the Timberwolves and for the Grizzlies. As three, four players are checked out, four players are checked in. Reed stays on here with Michael Beasley, Okafor, and McDaniels. And a nice drive here for D'Angelo Russell. Five players checked out, five players checked in. But Jones moves the ever lane. Here's Clark. Clark! Dunk it through! And they are putting it back up again. Russell finds a Koji. And he goes right to Reed. Reed back to Russell. And he didn't really want to hesitate that much. He says, uh, no quick steps, I got it all. Yeah, the uncle Russell, he was doing really well. I don't know what to say about him, but the, but it seems like he could have been playing back here with Brooklyn. But their, but their season didn't really turn out well. So he only chose this team to go to go help him out win the game in Minnesota. Now Beasley, the attacker coming. Beasley makes the drive and he makes a move on the reverse layup. That will be up by five. 2.45 remaining in the third quarter. Brooke Jones. And it goes out of bounds. That will be Minnesota ball, another turnover on the Grizzlies. These players are really having a tough time. They're going to need to try to figure something else out. They can't be losing the ball right away if you're going to get better at it. Russell right to McDaniels. McDaniels rolls over to Reed. Reed rolls over to D'Angelo Russell for three. Good! Another three-pointer for Russell, and they are extending it up by eight. They really got it going. I've never seen that play, but that was hard. William, no problem getting inside the paint, and they are coming back in by another score by six. A turnover takeaway, and here's Melton with a two-on-one attack. Jones inside, and the foul is called on Reed. He got hit from the elbow by, by the other player from the opponent. That will be the first personal foul for Reed, and another team foul for Minnesota. It's two on the road. Minnesota is definitely to pay the breakdown here. Points and penalties are 20 and 14 with the average rebounding. They really got to like try to figure things out a bit more. They don't want that to happen. That first shot goes in there, and a new changeup will be released for Jackson Jr. to check in for Concha, and Anderson moving over to point forward. Good on the second. The double free throws are putting up a lot of great hustle here with a great work of Memphis Grizzlies, but nothing for Minnesota. Russell, trying to work her way around. The ball's not loose, but they have it back. Okoji with the ball. Six to shoot on the shot clock. Beasley, no problem on the drive. He is going wild out there. And Beasley has six points. Beasley really needs to know more of how you can be the beast. And a backcourt violation with a bad, bad call here for the player to get back, back onto it without stepping the backcourt of the midcourt. That's not going to work at all. They really can't be doing anything, anything really, really unparticular. They really can't be doing it. If the player makes a mistake, well, that's because what they have done, they were not picking it up. Why were they afraid? Well, they cannot be. They have to step their way in the game. And another three ball, turning out to be Minnesota, 45-36 run. And Melton outside, going in the paint, 
Rebound, and that goes in there. Anderson has gotten a better place than he has done before. Russell right over to Beasley. Beasley kicks it off to Okuji. Now he rolls to Prince. Trying to work their way around. Beasley, pass up to Reed. Right to Prince. He goes up and a great scoop drive by Prince as Reed takes the assist. What a great, uh, great pass out there with the overhand pass. Overhead pass. I think they're doing really well. Melian. Work their way through. It's no good. I'll never miss here for, for Memphis Grizzlies. Prince right to Beasley. And he rolls up to Reed. Stepping in. And he missed off the bad angle target. And another miss goes up with Minnesota. Reed nearly needs to know what he has done. Three pointer has got a great score in average out here. And they are closing the gap of the third quarter. 47 to 41. They really gotten the better. But what about the fourth quarter? It's coming up after this. Don't go anywhere. We got more highlights for you after this. And the candidates right here. Let's have a look at the State Farm Assist of the game. And with my, my thoughts here for the uh, players that did work hard and best is was their pursuit. D'Angelo Russell really have done a lot of much better playing here on offense, but he sometimes gets struggles here on defense. Maybe for his thoughts, it's going to be unbalanced. Glad you have you with us here so far as we are about to start the fourth quarter. This could be the kill-off matchup for Minnesota to start their season run of the playoff mode in their game. We might be showing if they can win or not. Beverly, Bastard Russell, in the corner up, and no problem here. Another bucket for D'Angelo Russell. 14 points, leading three points behind Brooke in the lead over Brooks. Brooks really haven't paid attention that much. I don't see his uh, effort out there, but he might be doing a much better timing. Bay, three-pointer, as Brooks got to assist. And they are back down by five. Beverly, oh boy, rejected by Adams, and they're turning around the other way. Adams really got it better. Murray, you count that one in. And they are back down by two. Moran's got a great piece of that one. And after Steven Adams, and there, and there might be another way. Get out of my way, moment. Russell, no good on the shot. And another miss here for the Minnesota. With the lead, bang, good! It's tied up now. My bad. It was on a three-point line. But no lead off change. Edwards on the attack, finding Russell. Over again, Edwards. The two, no good. Now Jackson Jr. with the rebound and Morant on the pursuit. Attack now for the Memphis Grizzlies. Brooks for the lead. Yes, sir! Minnesota timeout with 4.13 remaining. And I'm ramp. He really got better at that point. And I don't think the offense didn't have it all. But they're going to need to try to fix their way to get back into it. Most players out there turned out to be just like that before. I never seen them playing just quite so tough if they really wanted to keep it up. Uh, probably it's not my kind of type. But if you think there is a player that definitely had the most, everything is turning out their best. Stick around for the next game as we will be doing the next one to start things off here on Saturday and Sunday. This will be happening here for the next one of third versus sixth seed in the game. The Celtics and the Raptors and the Golden State Warriors against the Nuggets. That will be happening here over the next couple of days to be on here for the run. And with no uh, possession to make, there are no changes yet. 
That's just a change up switch on the court. D'Angelo Russell inside. Goes up. Oh man. He is a dominant performance run. And Patrick Beverly with the assist. D'Angelo Russell really does have a lot of momentum out there. Those players could definitely make their communications better, and I think they might have it. Brooks makes it three-pointer, and they're up by four. Towns, here comes trouble. Not a chance for him tonight, as he's not giving up yet. Towns really got better at it. He might do it again. Jackson Jr., right on Beverly. Turning in, Morant with the fade off, finds Brooks, and a shot ticket in there. That's another point for the Grizzlies. And now he's back up in the lead. Try to go with one point behind, not taking from here. Vanderbilt in the corner. Three-pointer for Carl Anthony Towns. Yes, sir! He is amazing on like he made seven more three-pointers than the Timberwolves had the average out there. They had it more, but they lost against the regular season against the Heat. They're not trying to work their way on the run. And another three-pointer here for, for the Grizzlies. They are pushing the pace. And he stepped out of bounds. What a play here for, for another player to go down. And Beasley will be checking in for Beverly as it's down to 234 remaining. Grizzlies looking for a chance to win the first game. And working the run. Here's Brooks. Bang for three. Oh yeah! You bet that! You bet that! You bet that! Bain is a stoppable run and they are extending it. Timeout called by Minnesota. 223 to go. They've got it hustle work on the beginning. They really have done a lot much better. I don't know what to say, but they really got a lot of better choices, obviously. And for your moment important thing, we know about that one. Grizzlies didn't make the uh, first cut here in the first round against the Arab team. It was the it was a team that Utah Jazz that knocks things down a bit and they really have dominated their efforts. What is, the, what is the purpose that we are looking for for the Grizzlies so far? Grizzlies really need to know that much better. If there is a chance for the, uh, for the lineup to get better at it, I mean, there might be another option. If they're going to try to keep it going, they're going to need to try to step it up a bit and work their way around. Now here's your New Balance player of the game. This one goes out to Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks really knows about this better performing effort. He's got a great score. I know his team lost against the Heat in the regular season, but his day is not done yet. He really wants to keep going. That's for him tonight for the first game. Minnesota trying to look for the attack, and they're trailing by, by seven. Beasley right over to Russell. Russell, oh boy, he is betting on that one. D'Angelo Russell has 18 points, and now he is trying to break the tie chain right on the board, but it may be too much to go through. Under two minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Free for Bain, good! And he is knocking his streak run. Fans are turning out to be just like him for tonight. Russell right to Vanderbilt. Over to Carl Anthony on number three. It's no good. Brooks on Edwards. Double man. Morant finding out a little look on the attack. Two up. Rebound. Morant. Ball coverage. Fade again. Yes, sir. He is on fire. Be on your fire voice cannot be like that. I don't know what was the voice coming out, but that's all I had. Well, that's what I'm just saying right now, you know? That's a lot of them that I know. 
Beasley can't able to make the two-pointer, and they didn't have the resistance to go back from here. Another drive, Moran, right over to Bain. Trying to pick the steal, but it's carried out by Moran. And with three to shoot, Moran with the three, good! He is a stoppable run, and Jared Jackson Jr. with the assist. Beasley with the ball, Edwards on a carry, inside, no good, and they will have to reinforce to try to not go with the shot, as they will bring down the game clock. And another point for, for Morant. He's a reversible to Morant this court down. Courting down, not just a good saver, but this is all that he has done. And a steal! Unbelievable! Oh, Cole Anthony put, put the guy of revenge on them. And he got that bucket. But it won't be enough for him for tonight, as this will be a first loss in the first game. That is it. Your final score for tonight is 74 to 60, as the Grizzlies lead the series by one. It's hard for them to make the last season even tougher, but their game is not totally the way they want to play. But now, they got it all down. And so that concludes here for tonight. With all the with all the support here of me and Santa Beast, we got putting a show here together in the Western Conference. And we will be back here for the Raptors and the Celtics and the Warriors against the Nuggets. Now let's present your three star players of the game, starting with you, Son of Beast. Let's give it your thoughts. So number three, this turned out to be just like the tough man that it was definitely not able to proceed it but through. We have is Carl Anthony Towns, 15 points in the game, one steal, and it wasn't the block that he had. That was end of, almost the end of the fourth quarter. He had a re revenge here on John Morant. He did find one, but that's all he had done turn out. Number two, we only have the player that did turn out just like that, but this wasn't him. The other player was Dylan Brooks. 19 points in this game, and that was a New Balance player of the game. Four assists, and that was all he had. It really did stand out. Not just anybody. And now for number one, Son of Beast. It's going to be very tough to make that decision call how I did. Hmm. I think that the, that the hot streaker now, I know that you're coming in there. It's Desmond Bain. With 25 points, one rebound, two assists, and only nothing else to be here. 17 minutes on the court. It's turning out just fantastic. And that's all the performance he had. 30 in a row. He's just uh, he's just outstandable with his uh, effort tonight. With all the game, he had it all down there. And that concludes here. With me, Phone, and Son of Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs along with the NBA 2K22. If you'd like to check out the other games that we already have done, you can check out the other videos once this game is over and we will be heading toward your next game or you can go back to the previous game from last year of the season or two seasons ago. It might be a very tough one, but you may never know. And now, that will conclude here for tonight. Peace out everyone, for as well as the NBA playoff and of course, the NBA 2K22 dial of this game. We'd like to thank you all for joining us and have a good night in Tennessee at Memphis. See you next time. Didn't you know? Somebody.